Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying how to consume Web API in ASP.NET MVC application. So this video is all about consuming POST request in MVC application. Before implementing the POST request, let us understand what will be the UI of our MVC application. So this is our UI of our MVC application. Okay. So ID name, price and stock will be accepted through a text box whereas category is accepted through drop down list. So definitely we need to provide a list of category from our web API. So for that also we need to write a code at our web API end. So let us switch to Visual Studio and let us do this process practically. So before starting an MVC application, let me tell you a few things in our web API. Here I have added one category controller and which is having one get method which is returning list of category and for that we have created the category view model also so which contains category ID and category name. We are just simply iterating through the list of categories from our database and then after we are assigning it or storing it to our collection which is nothing but LST category. Okay, so this is also one controller we are going to use in our MVC application and this is the category view model. So it is also needed in our MVC application. Okay, so in, a, in our MVC application we are going to create this model. Okay, so let me copy this so we can make a same replica of it. Now let us switch to our MVC application. So this is our MVC application which is nothing but consume web API in MVC and in last video we saw how to consume a get request in MVC and for that we implemented the index action method. So let me collapse this okay and as I said we need one more model here which is nothing but category view model. So let us create that category view model under our model folder. So I will say add. And then after you have to say add class because model is nothing but a class. So my class name is going to be category view model. So I already copied those properties in our web API application. So I am just going to paste it here. So we are done from our model side. Okay, let me close this. So this create is an action method in our MVC application which is going to render that view which will accept the details from the user. That's why I kept a return type or action method as view result. Okay. So, so here also I am going to take a help of scaffolding and templates to generate a view. So let us add a view first. So right click on your action method and say add view. So we are going to keep the name same which is create. I am not going to change it. Then as I said, I am going to use a template. So here there is ready made template available, which is nothing but a create. I want to use layout page, even some reference script libraries also. So I have checked this both the checkboxes and here I have to specify the model which I want to bind. So definitely we are going to uh, accept the details related to our product. So our model is product view model. So say add. So this will add a respective view and it may take a few seconds. Yes, now it is done. So as you can see here, validation summary, validation messages are also get generated. Okay. So when you take a help of scaffolding and template, you get these things ready made. If you are going to use any custom design in that case you have to write these methods manually okay so validation message for is there even editor for means everywhere if you see there is editor for HTML helper only now what this editor for HTML helper will do based on the data type of the properties of your model it will render the respective HTML tag if you want to change it you can definitely change it and you can take a help of basic html helper like text box for label for drop down list for and so on okay that are already covered in one of my 
MBC playlist. So if you are not aware of that part, I will suggest you to watch that video. Now here as I said, we are going to use drop down list for our category. So here if you see, two tags are generated basically, one for category ID and one for category name. Basically we are going to accept a category ID only. So this part is no longer needed. So I am going to remove this. Okay. We are going to accept category ID through drop down list. And then here category ID is there. We are going to accept the category ID, but we are not going to use editor for, for that. We are going to use drop down list. So I am just going to paste a HTML helper for drop down list. So just take a look at this HTML helper. We binded it to our category ID property. Then we are passing the list of all the categories through this view bag. So view bag dot category list. Okay. So we have to write the code for this at the controller side. And this is nothing but a value field means, means which value you want to post. We want to post a category ID, but our display field is nothing but a category name. So we specified both the things and this is option label means initially the first value that you want to show in your drop down list which is nothing but a select category and these are nothing but the uh, HTML attributes which are necessary. Okay, So let us switch to controller. So first of all what we are going to do we are going to pass a list of category to our view using view back. So let us do that. So now we know that we have a web api to get the list of category okay so we are going to give a call to our web api and if you remember in our last video we already saw how to get a list of product okay in the same way we are going to get the list of category also right so what will i do i'll just copy this code and instead of product view model I'm going to use category view model. Okay. In this way, it will be very easy for us. Okay. So let me paste this. The only thing that I have to change is name of controller, right? So category there also, it is a get method in our web API. So definitely the method call is nothing but get as get a scene and our category controllers get method returns category view model. So let me change this. So this is going to be a category view model. The same way I have to make a changes here also. It is list of category view model and here also. Right. Now let us name our list as categories. Okay. Done. So let me change the name here also categories now we are done with this part the next step is to pass this category or the list of categories to our view bag so it is accessible in our view so now what we will do we will check the name of our view bag so the name of our view bag is what view bag dot category list this is the key of our view bag so we are going to assign our collection of categories to this view back. So here I'll say view back dot category list is equal to categories. Okay. So we are done with this part also. Means basically we are done with the part which will render our create view. So let us check it once. So the most important thing you have to do is you have to check whether your web api is up or running or not so it is not in running state so first of all i'll run my web api now i'm switching to our mvc application and then after we are going to run our mvc application so i'm going to run this create views so as you can see here this is our create view or ui where you can see product ID and stock since they both are of type number or integer they are rendered as a number tag in HTML name and price are rendered as a normal text box and for category 
we ourselves we change the tag we explicitly specify it as a drop down list so drop down list is also appearing so our drop down list has taken a value from web api and then after we assign it to our view back okay now what is the next step now whenever i hit on this create button whatever values or whatever data i filled here it should get stored okay it should be sent to the web api and then web api will subsequently store those detail in database okay and after that we should be navigated to our listing page okay this is what we want to do okay so let us start let us switch to our mvc application now we are going to write one more action method that will post all the accepted data to our web api controller and basically we are going to consume the post request of our web api so let me write a method so public let us say action result and i'm going to keep method name as create again okay so this is just going to be a post method so i'll decorate it with http post verb okay done now here first of all we'll check whether our model is in valid state or not if it is in valid state then we are going to post all those data to our web controller and here we are going to accept those detail in our object so i'll specify this so let us call it as pobj okay it can be any name and first of all we'll check if model state dot is valid if it is valid then we are going to proceed otherwise if it is invalid then we are going to display the same view so it will display the view with error messages okay now again i am not going to write that code already we studied the code how to call the post async post json async method okay i already explained so here i am going to use that code only okay so let me paste that code so this is the code that will consume the post request of our web api so again uh, the object of http client class is created base address is mentioned call is given to our post at json async method where we specify the name of controller and then after we pass the object that we want to post to our web api then after we check the success status code if status code is true or if our request executed successfully then we are redirecting to our action method so in this case what happened if this happens successfully our index action method get execute and it will show the index view and while showing the index view it will again hit to our get method of web api which will subsequently returns the list of all the products along with the new product that we have entered now and it also get listed in our index view okay so quite easy right okay so let us check this our web api is already in the running state so i'm just running our mvc application yes our view is rendered so i'm just going to enter the id so let us say 15 then name is say test price is something 50000 say stock is of 100 and it belongs to electronics so let me hit the create button yeah see this new product get added right the last one of id 15 okay so this is how we consumed a post request in our mvc application so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any concern you can write it to the comment section thank you for watching